this drum set uh, is sort of my um, go-to rig for pretty much any kind of music that I'm doing, particularly uh, uh, like uh, funky stuff, rock stuff, um, groove stuff. So the same configuration I used on the Daft Punk album, uh, Random Access Memories. Uh, but also uh, the same setup that I use for my new band project, Osmosis. Um, what I've got is I've got uh, three rack toms that are uh, 10, 12, and 13. Uh, and two floor tom toms, we have a 14 and a 16 inch floor tom tom. Um, I'm using a six and a half uh, inch brass custom alloy pearl snare drum. Everything is pearl, by the way. Pearl uh, reference series. In this case, the reference pure series. Uh, and on my left, the uh, what I call my auxiliary snare drum, in that position is the uh, signature snare drum, my personal signature snare drum that came out uh, many years ago uh, with pearl. This is a 13 by 5 uh, drum that's made of uh, African mahogany. Uh, what I love about that drum is it has a, a, a pretty cool tuning range. Uh, it, it gets up in the range of a piccolo drum, but it also gets down pretty low depending on what, what type of drum head you put on it. So I sort of like to refer to it more as an alto snare drum than a piccolo snare drum because it has a slightly lower voice. Um, all of the drums, as you see, are fitted with the Evans uh, UV-1 drum heads, uh, Rezo 7s on the bottom. Um, the drumsticks are, as usual, uh, Vic Firth drumsticks. And depending on the music of the song, I'm either using uh, my original uh, signature of Vic Firth stick, or I'm using a variation on an AJ-1 that also has my signature on it. Um, this is a wood tip stick, as you can see. This is a nylon tip for a bigger sound on the cymbals, particularly the ride and in the situation where I don't have to worry about the, the tip wearing out on the cymbal. The, the, what, the reason I use nylon here is just to keep a consistent um, sound on the bell and the ride of the cymbal. Um, so, uh, cymbal-wise, from left to right, I've got this really fun stacker over here that is made up of on the bottom, or everything is Zildjian. It is a, a Zildjian VXT transformer, 14 inches. And I, I love it because it's, uh, it's a gnarly looking little guy. <laughs> and on top of that, I have a symbol that I don't see that often anymore. And it's a, a EFX remix symbol with tambourine jingles on it. And it's just a cool sound. It's a lovely sound. Um, this is a 13-inch thin crash. Uh, next to that is an, uh, an Avitas 19-inch cymbal. Now, that's, what's interesting about the Avitas product is that they're not uh, really designated as a specific role uh, inside of your setup. In other words, this cymbal could easily be a, a ride cymbal depending on how you touch it. It could be a crash cymbal. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it has a lot of different um, sounds and a lot of personality. Um, I, I, I love this and it sort of reminds me of uh, the symbols that uh, came out like in the, in the 50s and 60s. Um, just a really incredible, lovely sound. And I'm also using, uh, from the same series, um, these lovely hi-hats here. So cool. They're 14 inch Avitas hi hats. And if you go to the other side of the kit, I've got a 20 inch custom, K custom hybrid ride symbol. Um, again, a symbol that has uh, a really versatile sound. Uh, I love it because it has a very generous size bell. Um, as you can see from the, the uh, different techniques used to finish the cymbal, you have a section that is smooth at the bell. 
it's hammered just outside of the bell and then the rest of it is laid like a normal uh, Zildjian cymbal. Uh, it's, it's a very cool and versatile sound. And then here we have an 18 inch K Sweet Crash. Also, you can see uh, the finishing and the lathing is, is different. That really gives that symbol this unique personality. And um, last in the family is one of my favorite, uh, favorite symbols. This is called the K Custom Hybrid Trash Smash. And, and I like to refer to this as, I like to refer to this symbol as my, uh, my chaos creation symbol. <laughs> <laughs> I can just really like get some insanity going with that symbol when I need to. Uh, but also it, it, is, uh, it, it has a lot of uh, detail and complexity. Uh, and so I can do a lot of things. And so, so, you know, when I'm choosing out a set of symbols, I'm, I'm looking for symbols that um, will allow me to express uh, different moods and sounds and colors and you know, each one of these is a, is a world unto itself, but together it's a, it's a lovely uh, orchestra of, of tones, you know? Uh, so that's my, uh, that's my setup. Maybe I'll see you at the concert tonight. Osmosis. <laughs> Coming to your town soon.